I'm Derek Bennett, IAVA's Chief of Staff, and we're here today in Los Angeles for the fifth annual Hero Celebration. This is our biggest event on the West Coast, and it's an opportunity for us to celebrate the veterans that are out here in California. One in nine Iraq and Afghanistan veterans are from the state of California. And tonight, we're very lucky to have J.R. Martinez of Dancing with the Stars, a U.S. Army veteran, emceeing our event, and very honored to be able to present awards and leadership excellence to Kathy Griffin, who's been a phenomenal advocate for our soldiers, as well as Mr. Ron Katz, an innovative pioneer and philanthropist who's put together a tremendous program at Operation Men at UCLA that helps bring veterans back and put their lives back together. Good evening, everyone. Thank you so much for coming out tonight. This is a great organization. IAVA is a great advocate for both Iraqi and Afghanistan veterans. The awareness that it's less than 1% of you that fight for the civil liberties and freedoms of 100% of us is something that your organization does a great job in pointing out over and over. We've got two extraordinary honorees, Kathy Griffin. It is one of a kind. Our other honoree is, is truly an incredible man, and I think a hero for so many people in this room, Mr. Ron Katz. We help severely injured veterans, and we provide they and their families with both housing, clinical care, and psychological rehabilitation. And all of us should be very proud of this community for the way that it's adopted and loved these wonderful, magnificent veterans. Thank you all. I think that laughter really is the universal language of love and healing, and I'm so proud of this organization. I'm going to keep tweeting about it, and please spread the word about this organization because they do such great work. What they do is so different than a lot of organizations. They are essentially kind of advocating and fighting on behalf of a lot of the troops that don't have the resources to fight for themselves or at times feel like they don't have a voice to fight for themselves. Organizations like this kind of step up, lead the way, and allow veterans to kind of have a saying of what's going on uh, with us, whether we're injured or not injured. I'm a firm believer that these people are the future of this country, so we must take care of them and help them any way we can.